Very happy to be joined by former NFL offensive lineman and the host of the Ross Tucker Football Podcast. The Eagles made some big news a few weeks back by re-signing Jason Peters. I just wanted to get a sense of what he was like in his early days. You played with Peters when he came up in Buffalo as a former tight end at Arkansas. What made him special? We all know how big Jason is. Picture that guy playing tight end. I mean, he played tight end at that size at Arkansas. That's the type of athlete that he was. He went undrafted, and I, I don't know if he had off-the-field issues or, or it was just the concern about the position or what, but he was an undrafted free agent. And I remember distinctly being in the, the hotel about a week before final cut. And this is back when the first cut went down to 65. And he was cut, just hanging out in the hotel. I said, well, I said what, what's the deal? So they're gonna put me, they're gonna put me on practice squad. So they had cut him at the cut down to 65 because they needed guys at other positions for the final preseason game. So he wasn't practicing with us. He didn't play in the final preseason game, but he was sticking around because they already told him they were gonna put him on the practice squad. He was practice squad, I'd say, France for about the first half of the year. And then, you know, they decided to put him up on the active roster, primarily for special teams, and just get his feet wet a little bit with getting some time. So he became like a goal line, short yardage tight end, which the blocking part of that came very easily for him. You know, for him, it was really just the mental part of how complicated the NFL was that slowed him down. You gotta go back and look at some games from 04, man. I mean, first of all, he was running down on the kickoff team at 320 pounds. Second of all, like watch the Bengals game. I don't know, he was wearing number 80 something, maybe number 90 something, but the Bengals game from 2004, he blocks a punt in Cincinnati and then scoops it up and, and, and recovers it in the end zone for a touchdown. Like. What future offensive lineman is running down on kickoffs, blocking punts, and taking them in for a touchdown? There was a day, maybe November, maybe even December, and they said, you know what? Let's have Jason go down for one-on-one with the offensive line and just see how he does. You know, put him a tackle and just see how he does. You know, maybe we'll transition to the offensive line. Dude, you've never seen anything like it in your life. Right away, nobody could beat him. Nobody. I mean, our best pass rushers, Aaron Schobel, um, Jeff Posey, guys that were pretty darn good, Ryan Denny, they couldn't even get close to beating him. He was so long, had such good feet, was able to sink his hips so well, was so strong. I mean, I remember sitting there I don't know if I threw my helmet, but I was thinking, I've been tr- I've been working on this every day since sixth grade. <laughs> this guy, in six seconds, is already light years better than I ever was. It was the darndest thing, Fran, I ever saw. I've never seen a guy that good that quickly, and of course, that's why he's probably going to the Hall of Fame someday. At least he should. <laughs>